Today we're announcing Apple Music, the next chapter in music, and I know you are going to love it. It will change the way that you experience music forever. When Apple launched its streaming service this month, many thought it would shake up the music industry, but not everyone was happy. Pop star Taylor Swift called on the company at the weekend to change its terms, and in a remarkable U-turn, it has. Joining me to discuss the latest moves is Robert Cookson, the FT's digital media correspondent. Rob, it's been a pretty amazing 24 hours. What exactly did Taylor Swift say that led Apple, the world's most valuable company, to change its terms? Well, Miss Swift is the world's biggest pop star at the moment, and she wrote on her blog that she thought Apple's terms were unfair. Shocking was how she described them. In particular, what she objected to was that during the first uh, three months of Apple Music, it'll give away the music for free, and it wasn't going to pay record labels or music publishers anything for the use of that music during that period, which she thought was entirely unacceptable. Now, Apple says they're using that free period to get people in and then with a view to getting them to become paying subscribers, right? Once, they, once people became paying users, the revenue share was actually quite generous relative to um, other streaming companies on the market like Spotify. Um, but it was just this issue of Apple's such a rich company, well, why should it get away with uh, not paying anyone for, for three months. Um, so Taylor Swift was one of many um, artists who were raising concerns about this. A lot of independent uh, record labels hadn't licensed Apple Music yet uh, for this reason. But her voice is just so big, it clearly um, prompted Apple into uh, making a U-turn. So what does this say and what does this portend for the rest of the, the music industry more broadly? I think it demonstrates quite how ambitious Apple is for its music service. This is a company that 12 years ago transformed the music market by essentially uh, bringing in the legal download model through its uh, iTunes store. Um, it still accounts for several billion dollars of um, revenues for the music business every year. So their entrance into streaming and trying to make a go of it is a huge deal. Everyone is very concerned that they get it right. And at the margin, them paying during that first trial three months period is very good for, for the industry. The big question though is whether as iTunes download users sign up to uh, the Apple Music streaming service and presumably stop buying downloads because they can access all that music for free, whether it'll cause um, part of the music industry's revenues to fall off a cliff. The bigger question for the industry in streaming is what does this mean for Spotify, which is ultimately the world's market leader in the streaming side of the business? What does it mean for them? Apple was already promised to pay a larger share of the revenues it makes from the, the paid subscriptions um, out to the music industry, 73% uh, outside the US on average, uh, which is three percentage points above the 70% the of revenues that Spotify pays out. Um, the fact that they're also, you know, flip-flopping within the space of a day and agreeing to improve the terms during that free trial period just shows that they're going to be quite generous um, to music rights owners, it seems, which will probably, in turn, make rights owners put more pressure on Spotify to match Apple's generous terms, which can only put further pressure on, on Spotify, which, though it's been very successful in growing its revenues and bringing in people to this new model, uh, it makes huge losses every year, losses which are growing. So the sustainability of that model is very much in question. Taylor Swift said she was very happy with the changes, but it remains to be seen over the long term whether competitors like Spotify and the rest of the music industry will be so cheery. Rob Cookson, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you.